Hi, today we are going to do a modern Barbie look. I just think this is how Barbie would look in 2017. And it has the glam, the glow, and the space buttons. Credits to Sally. Hi. Um, I wanted to do a half cut crease because like that's very in right now. And yeah, this is sort of like a Halloween costume. This is like if you want to do something but you don't want to go buy a costume. I got you. If you want to know how to get this look, keep on watching. I'm starting off with this shade from the Morphe 25B palette. And I'm just going to use it as a base. And then going into the e.l.f. blush palette with this magenta shade. And I'm just going to build that up into my crease. And if you notice, there's white powder under my eyes. This is going to help catch fallout. I'm going to get the shade Candied Violet from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm just going to put that a little beneath the magenta shade and I'm going to keep building up this color and I'm just going to put that on the outer to inner so basically my entire lid except lower than the magenta shade and this is going to take a little bit of building so you can get that nice gradients without those harsh lines. <laughs> I'm going back in with that magenta shade just to blend everything out and I'm going to bring it up a little more just so I can make my eyes appear a little more big since Barbie's eyes are like that and I'm just going to keep going back and forth with those two shades building up the purple and blending it out with the magenta. Now with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige, I'm just going to do what I did in my last cut crease video except only doing it halfway. So basically I'm just shaping my fake crease or to cut the crease and then blending it out and shaping it more with an angled brush. <laughs> Going back into the chocolate bar palette and taking champagne truffle and I'm going to just get that on a flat brush and wet it and this just makes the metallic just pop out a little better and I'm going to put that right on top of where we cut the crease, the lid, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Now I'm using one of the MAC Loose Pigments and I can't really pronounce it, it's like Kidsmas? I don't know, I'll put it right here. And I'm just going to take that on the same flat brush and wet it as well and put that on top of Champagne Truffle. This is just to give more of that glam effect. Like you don't need to do this but I want it to be a little extra. I'm also going to put this on my inner corners and the inner part of the lower lash line. This is going to make your eyes pop and you're going to also make them look bigger. And now I'm going to get this denser brush back with that purple candied violet shade and I'm just going to keep um, blending out the edges so there's no harsh lines and this will also deepen up the purple. I decided to go in with a bigger brush just to keep packing on that purple shade so it's really deep and I'm also sort of going to go over the cut crease but really gently because you want that cut to be very prominent and then I'm going to keep blending it out with a magenta shade with a fluffy blending brush. Now I'm going to use an angled brush for the lower lash line in that purple shade. And remember in the beginning when I said I had that white powder, well I'm just wiping it off to dust off all the fallout from the glitter and the eyeshadows. And then I'm going to use this smaller detailed brush with that magenta shade to really smoke out that purple because you want it to look nice and smoky. And again I'm going to put that loose pigment in my inner corners and the lower part of my lash line. And I found that adding water really helped. 
So now I'm going in with the Physicians Formula Eyeliner in Ultra Black and I'm just going to align my eyes and I'm just going to keep it really close to the um, lash line. This is just to help hide the lashes we're about to put on. Now with my favorite mascara, the Roller Lash by Benefit, I'm just going to apply that to my up upper and lower lashes. And for lashes, I'm using the Blue Box by Vegas Nay Allure thing. Yeah. Now onto the face, we're using Laguna by NARS, and I'm just going to use this to bronze up my face. So that's going to be my cheekbones and my forehead and also my jawline and I'm using the Japanese um, skull I don't know what it's called exactly but it's a Japanese brush and it's my favorite now I'm going back in with the elf blush palette with a real techniques brush and I'm focusing it on my on the apples of my cheeks and also bringing it up and for a highlighter I'm using opal by Becca also with the real techniques brush and I'm just gonna put that on top of my cheekbones and my temples. And with my finger, I'm just gonna apply the same highlight on my nose. Now I'm getting the same loose pigment and I'm just going to apply that onto my cheekbones and my, for my temples. And you don't have to do this. I just want it, again, to be extra. And I feel like this just I don't know, it adds on since this is a Halloween look. So like go big or go home, right? Now I'm gonna line my lips with Too Faced Perfect Pink Lip Liner and I'm just going to line them and also add a line in the middle of my lips. And this is supposed to give dimension and as you can see, I put foundation over my lips to block them out. Now I'm going in with the NYX Butter Lipstick in Root Beer Float and I'm just going to apply that and you can just use any pink shade if we're being honest, so yeah. Now I'm using a MAC lip gloss in a shade I also can't pronounce. I think it's Nymphidi. I don't know. I'll put it right there. And I'm just going to put that in the center. This is the final look and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm comment a joke. Okay, well we saw, I forgot what her name was on YouTube and she said to comment down a joke to make her laugh. So comment down a joke, because I want to laugh too. This is so aggressive. And a joke, right now. <laughs> That's what she said. Bye!